All right, in this clip I'm going to show you a couple of new left hand styles and also a right hand technique called adding the blue third. <clears throat> the blue third is the same as the minor third of a chord, but the difference is the chord isn't minor, we're just using the blue third as colour and normally you'd play it in front of the major third. So here's your C major triad. If you use one, three, five fingering, you've got your index finger free and you can play that, put it on the E flat, which is the minor third. So that's the sort of sound you'll be getting. You always play the blue third in front of the major third. Don't do it back to front. Okay, that'll sound too minory. <clears throat> so there's a tune called Blue Third Blues that I wrote to demonstrate using the blue third. Uh, I'll play it first of all with the bass line that we already know, root three, five, six. So you may have noticed this time after the G chord I played an F chord. So that's a little variation in the blues sequence where the last four bars go 5-4-1 instead of saying on the 5 chord for two bars. <clears throat> I'd like you to practice improvising with this blue third as well. So you just have to remember to play the root position on each chord with the right fingers leaving your index finger free for the blue third on the F or the G as well. 